Okay, where's number one? Twenty one. Do you have do you have a copy of this? Uh, you see it. No, I don't. You only made one copy? Yeah. Okay, so you read it. You read it and write. Can I do it on the board? Yeah, yeah. Right, Take it over there with me. Yeah, I know. I just need different markers. This one is not. Markers are good for me. Alright. There's the, I'll look at it in the book. Yeah, the book. It's on page 15. Okay. Okay. A canning machine is able to fill and seal 72 cans per minute. Yeah. Seventy-two per minute, right? Seventy-two per minute. At this rate, how many cans could be filled and sealed in one and one in one and one fourth hours? Right. So what's just what do we have to do first? Convert. You could convert this four. That's four plus is five. Four, and then you divide five by four to get your decimal. Yeah, but okay. And that would get you how many minutes? No, it would, an hour and twenty-five minutes. Well, no. Yeah. That's that's it one. Work. No, no, careful. It's one point two five. What? It's this 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 equals one point two five hours. Yeah. 0.25 hours. That's this. Yeah, I know it's that, but it's point two five hours. A quarter of an hour is now 25 minutes. That's 15 minutes. Right. So the easy, so, so, my suggestion to you, you don't need to do this. It's a waste. It's, it's an hour is how many minutes? 60. 60. And a quarter of an hour is? 60. So how many minutes is it total? 45. Uh, 115. One, no, 60. 75. Right. Okay. So now you got to divide 75 by 72. Divide 72 in one minute. How many is it going to be in, seven, in 75 minutes? Uh, it's a uh, proportional. No? Yeah. No? What is that proportion? What's it a proportion to? What can uh, you compare it to? What are you saying? I don't know. Okay. So, 72 in one minute. And you do it for 75 minutes. Yeah, and then you put X over here. You could do it that well, way. What, what's... Um, yeah. You could, but you it's... Just said, okay. You, that's the way you I could, want to do you it. Could, you could. You could. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, you do it that way, and I'll tell you how you, a quicker way to do it, okay? All right. Grab my marker. Yes, you can do it that way. Thank you. Um, you can. No, 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 no. No, you can't do it that way. No, it would be this. Because when you're making a ratio, this is um, cans. So the X is the number of cans. And this has to be minutes. It's got to be this way. Right? Because the minutes got to be the same, the cans got to be the same. So you would do and then, it that way. Then you're going to wind up with 72 times, seven, no, here. times 75 equals X. Number. Yeah, and then you would do x divided by one. No, no, you don't have. No, you don't have to you do know, anything. If you're, if you're doing a proportion, then well, you, you no, you don't have to do anything now, Matthew. You got it. Oh, All you have to do is right. You don't have to do anything more. You're solving for x. You're solving for x. Right, so let me sh let me just show you something because this is this is not the way this is not the way where you should go with a problem like this. If, if they tell you 70, 72 cans in a minute, in a, okay? Yeah. So and they tell you it's for one and a quarter hours. Yeah. Stick with me. I am. Okay, you converted that. You got to convert this to minutes, right? Seventy-five minutes. We did that, right? One and a quarter. Yeah. Okay. If 
I know I do 72 cans in one minute, let me just say one minute, that means in two minutes I do 144, three, three all, all the way out to 75, right? And that oh, wow. all, so it, all it is is 72 times 75. Yeah. It's, you can go right there right away, yeah. right? Right. So I don't, you know, the proportion thing, yeah, yeah. So you got to be careful about the hours to minutes and the proportion thing. Oh, I forgot to write it down on the paper. You can do it. Do it again. Just double practice. Yeah. One more. One more. Yeah. Well, let's do this Grace last one. We can squeeze a couple of layers up. What? It'd be great if we can squeeze a couple in later. But we'll see about this is that. for about a square. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah, go ahead. A square yeah. with uh -huh. an area of 36 square yeah. units. Yeah. Can be drawn in quadrant two of a coordinated grid. Okay, let's. Yeah, and where's quadrant two? Right here. Right. And so it's a square of 36 square units. Yeah. So you know it's a square, so what do we know about the sides? They're right. all... They're all the same. Yeah. So what, how big is each side? Each side has to be six. You're thinking good, Matthew. Because okay. six and six is 36. Right. So that's all the information we have right now, right? Yeah. One of the vertices is on the origin. Which would, which would be the line. Right? One of the vertices... Is that the origin? What is the x-coordinate of the vert... Tough problem. Yeah, no, it's just the definition of vertices. Vertices is this. When you have a, an object and you have, all right, I have to, I, I can rewrite this, but look, this is, so if you have a cube, here's your vertice right here. Okay, it's cool. okay, okay. So draw your quadrant back. I'm going to look in this quadrant. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yep. Alright, so. Draw the quadrant. Don't draw the, don't draw the uh, square yet. Okay. So we know the square is in the second quadrant, right? Yeah, which is right here. Okay. But one of the vertices, and you just taught me the vertice is the corner. Yes. Is on the origin. And where's the origin? Right here. No. Right there. So one of the corners. So now you can draw the oh, square. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we know where the square is. It would be. Right. It could be just right. Draw the square. Draw the square. Right. right there. Okay. So now let's look at the next sentence. What is the coordinate of the one farthest away? No, nope. read it again, you missed something. What is the x coordinate of the vertex farthest from the origin? It would be negative six. Got it, Matthew. It would be zero, negative six. Yeah. Hey, Laura? What? I just want to tell you, he knows a lot more than he leads on to, you know? He's really good at this. Okay. Hey, is your tape still on, Matthew? Yep. Okay. I'll tell you what, I think it'd be great if 